Miss James, worrying about Hurricane Katrina, how do they name hurricanes? Have you wondered that too? Yeah. yeah. Okay, guess what? I'm gonna show you. Here's where you go. Here are all the names. The names of hurricanes are already pre-named. So here are all the hurricanes that are gonna be for this year. Someone asked, are they gonna reuse the names of the hurricanes? If it's a devastating hurricane, like hurricane what? Katrina, that's really memorable, mm -hmm. they won't re they won't use that name again. But and the list repeats every six years. The list repeats every six years. So this is the 2024 list, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So what was used in 2023 is used in 20 excuse, excuse me. I'm, I'm just teaching. So what was used in 2023 will be used again in 2029. Did you know that? Yeah. You didn't know that. So that's how that's how the name of the hurricanes are used. Okay, so this is a list right here. And so they just start out with these. And these are all the names of it's a in the Atlantic, okay? Uh -huh. And then they have a different group for the ones in the Pacific. Yes. Do they all like do all hurricanes get exactly the same name or because like what what if all the hurricanes don't all happen? Okay, well, that, that, this is a 24 list, and nothing happens, and you're like, I think we just had, did we just have Isaac? Yeah. I believe so. So, and so then, oh, we even had Joyce, because that's my sister's name, because I remember that. And so they use these names, okay? But if nothing happens, then these don't get used. 2024 list is going away, and you go to 2025. Oh. Okay, so you want to look at, you want to see the list of the ones that they cannot use anymore? I'll show you those. These are the ones that they cannot use anymore. So the list started in 1954. This is where the list starts. And we go all the way down. What year did Hurricane Katrina occur? 2005. 2005. Look right here. With the ones that you cannot use. You cannot reuse Dennis, Katrina, Rita, Stan, or Wilma. Question you. In 2006, there weren't any devastating hurricanes. So the list is empty. 2007. Here we go all the way to 2022. You remember Ian? I meant Fiona, too. Yeah, Fiona. Guess what? They were too devastating, so we can't use those names anymore. I remember. <coughs> it's called, uh, who is uh, Ida? Uh, the I O T A. You remember those? So those can't be used anymore. Oh, and I remember Matthew in uh, 2016 because they were too devastating. So that's how hurricanes are named. It's already a pre-made list of names, and if nothing happens, those names aren't used. And how often are they recycled? Every what? Six years. They're, they're recycled every six years. Let me ask you something. Did you learn something new? Yes. yes. Is it related to English? Yes. yes. How is it related to English? Because the hurricane is history. So. Is history English? No. 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 Well, how is it related to English? Yes. Because, like, it gives you more definition about, like, where, where the name Katrina came from. Okay. And what else? Thank we're what? We're reading. So we're reading a book about what? Hurricane. Hurricane. So. The book is English. So that the book is in English, the book is in English, and we're reading English. Any time that you read a book, excuse you for talking. Any time that you, we're reading a book, the more that we study outside of what's in the book, what does that do? Does it help us to understand the book more? Yes. And, and it's called depth of knowledge. Your knowledge depth gains, so then you understand the book more. I think this is something pretty fascinating to know about, don't you think? Mm -hmm. A lot of people do not know that. So. There you go. Yeah, my mom taught me that before she passed away. I was like, that's good stuff to know, mom. She's like,